Hey there friends and enemies, Joe Price here once again and today I have a brand new Tiny Tina's Wonderlands video for you. This one checking out the changes that were just made in the brand new patch that just came out yesterday. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Helps me out tremendously, shows you want to see more Tiny Tina's content from me. Now with this patch, we were able to get two new weapons, the quad bow and the thunder anima, as well as a host of buffs and nerfs that we saw that I wanted to talk about specifically because... I tested them out for a little bit and I the the change meta is very very interesting so I really want to get into that and talk about how we're starting to see a shift faster in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands than we might have seen in Borderlands games in the past and so because of that I feel like people are going to be frustrated because they are grinding for these weapons and then as soon as they get them they are nerfed. Now, I was fortunate enough to get a chaotic version of the quad bow and the thunder anima. A couple problems though. The quad bow is interesting. I feel like if it was full auto, the one that I had would be fantastic. But it's not, and it just feels kind of weird to shoot. Doesn't do a ton of damage, even with a chaotic version. This gameplay that you're seeing, I did not have like the most specked out build. Because I, I wanted to do like a fair one-to-one -one test in the chaos chamber for these not really go for quick burns where everything looks really strong you know what i'm saying so that's just my personal way of, of testing these out so that way i can get a, a fair look at them i was not really impressed by the quad bro. the thunder animal was a lot of fun i really enjoyed using it however there's a problem with it and that it cannot be enchanted right now i hopefully they fix that in the future because the Thunder Anima was a gun that I was really looking forward to. It chains the lightning damage, which is cool. It looks really awesome as a weapon, but overall it's just underwhelming because of that. I also had some, some weird issues when I was playing co-op where it was not changing, chaining the two other enemies. It would hit the first enemy and then stop. So because of that, it was a little disappointing there as well. I don't know if that was a bug or if it was just... A latency issue but uh, those are two things that I just to keep in mind however if you're gonna farm these they're both assault rifles you can get them from the uh, bunnies at the end of the chaos chamber it's probably the best way I got both of them actually on one run and uh, the thunder anima is the one that I think you should be looking at uh, the most in my personal opinion now they did do a bunch of adjustments to spells and stuff uh, specifically the one that I was using is the hydra spell uh, increased all hydro spell base charges from one to two so you can have double the casting fun i was using that because uh, it allowed me to get i had a toxic uh, poison damage hydra i was able to use it very consistently and obviously i'm running a spell shot build so i'm able to use the hydra two times and then if i get critical hits i'm able to use it two more times so i was just kind of spamming those to see how it does it's actually a lot of fun if you're doing a build based around companions these spells could be very very interesting now because they do count as companions so i do like that a lot there were a ton of other uh spell changes including magic barrage getting totally reworked which is interesting uh cloud burst arc torrent also got adjusted quite a bit stuff like that they increased all sniper rate full damage by 20 percent. i didn't use those i i just don't care for sniper rifles so far in the game from what I've tried, none of them really hit like big chunking damage that I would want from a sniper rifle. So I just don't care for them. And then uh, we they buffed the Magic Poison SMG. You're going to see me use the White Rider a lot. And the reason is I feel like that might be the best SMG in the game now that they've nerfed the liquid cooling. Personally, the dual beam scaling uh, remains unchanged overall, increasing the damage each beam deals due to the Dahlia scaling change. So they increased Dahlia Magic Poison SMG scaling by 50%. Again, the White Rider is the one that benefits specifically from that, and I think it's awesome. I think as a dual beam, it's probably going to be my favorite SMG in the game right now. You're going to see the damage it does compared to the other weapons I was using. It's quite a bit different, you know, so for that reason, I'm really happy with that and I, I can't wait to use it more. The lightning version of the Rider is also pretty solid, 
but not as good in my opinion. I don't enjoy it quite as much. They did uh, nerf the legendary pistols, including, like I said, the liquid cooling. They addressed an issue with how the, the liquid cooling damage scaling was being calculated. And you can really see the damage difference when I'm using that compared to other weapons. Uh, and same thing with the, the two, the quad bow and the... the Thunder Anima, when I switch weapons to something else, uh, you can just see how much different the damage is overall. And that's really the big issue that I'm having with them right now, is that unless you scale completely and, and spec into buffing them specifically, they're just not as good as something like the, uh, the Bread Slicer, for example, just does more damage, right? So, I'm just not thrilled with where they are. And that's really a major bummer. Because they're two new weapons. I was excited to chase them. But neither one of them lives up to hype. Maybe they'll buff the quad bow. Maybe Thunder Animal will be able to be enchanted in the future. And that will actually change how things work. Um, again... And you can kind of build around those weapons. But overall, I think we're still seeing SMGs kind of rule the roost right now. I think we're going to see uh, some of the pistols still be pretty solid. But overall, these changes <laughs> have made things interesting. And the ARs in general, I think, could use a little bit more love. Uh, rockets. So it just feels very limited in what we can use as far as weapons right now that, that really stand out. Let me know your guys' opinion down in the comments down below. What... Oh, which of these weapons are you most excited to use? Are you excited or bummed about any of these changes? I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I'm just going to leave the gameplay running, but I'll catch you all later.